Hi, this is John Reed of JohnERP.com. I've got a special treat for you today, a NetWeaver career strategy uh, presentation commentary off the cuff here. I haven't rehearsed this at all, uh, but what I did is on the SAP Community Network, I posted a two-part video series on, Netwe on NetWeaver and SAP career strategies in general, uh, which uh, my fellow SAP mentor, Tony D. Tomasis, uh, created an awesome Prezi slideshow for his company, Australian Post, looking at how these principles could be applied to a NetWeaver career. So I thought I would return the favor and basically offer you some commentary on Tony's presentation. Uh, now I'll try to include a link at the end of the uh, YouTube video to the presentation from Tony. I noticed it wasn't very easy to find on the Prezi site, which is unfortunate, but I'll try to include a link to it from my site soon as well. So without further introduction, I'm going to go through this. I have only five minutes per uh, video here, so this may take me a couple of rounds, but we'll just go until I run out of time. So here we are, now we have a career strategy. Uh, Tony notes the changing job market, and the end result of, of all these changes is definitely a sort of Darwinian survival of the fittest SAP professional. Uh, it's going to emerge from from this picture, uh, and we have to remember not to wait till the economy gets better. Uh, even when the economy improves, the proactive uh, steps that we take are going to be the ones that set us apart uh, from our peers and bring us new opportunities. Nice graphic from Tony. Two-step evolution: skills acquisition and social identity strategy. Basically acquire skills and then make your presence felt through a community contribution. So skills acquisition. One to five year plan. Really important to figure out where you're headed with consulting, uh, management, the, the project management track is very different than the hands-on consultant track. You're going to start your own firm. Uh, that's a whole other story. But as long as you're a hands-on consultant, that last point about looking for specialization uh, really rings true. So that's a really important one to pay attention to. So this is based on my skills recommendations. Uh, you want to acquire a core skill, then you want to surround that with emerging skills, which may uh, come and go a little more, um, but they might add a little sizzle to your skill set. And then you need the consulting skills. Whether or not you're a full-time employee or a consultant, it's the ability to make an impact on your peers that ensures your relevance as an on-site consultant and hopefully spares you from uh, being subjected more to offshore issues and basically you know, becoming more of a commoditized skill set, which nobody wants right now. Another clever graphic from Tony. Core skills, mastery, acquiring mastery. And so here's some uh, core skills Tony's recommending from the basis side. BW, absolutely. Solution manager, rapidly moving from edge to, to core as it gets traction in SAP sites. <laughs> A lot of customers aren't real happy with solution manager, but it's certainly here to stay in all of SAP's roadmaps. More core skills. Definitely, even if you're technical oriented, it's good to have different functional areas you specialize in. Other core skills. I think composition environment moves you a little more on the development side uh, in some instances. Uh, also, CE is not widely accepted yet, but remember that often the BPM component is included in CE, and that's probably going to be an important uh, area of expertise going forward. I would classify some of that as a little more emerging. So that's the overview of core skills, and with that, we've reached the end of my time for this first review, so I'm going to shut down the video recorder now, and we'll pick it up on the next round.